where if it's just written on paper, they're going to start working a procedure. Or even if it's written on the board as a number talk, if they don't have the math behind it, then they're trying to remember how to do it. Well, I, I think one of the things that I'd like you to know about the book is that really helping you help children develop concepts over time. It's not only having a good discussion about numbers, doing your own thinking, which you might have heard about number talks, but we really have the information that will be helpful to you to make sure that you're helping your children move forward through number talks. So it's organized kind of by concept in terms of concept development. But what I want us to recognize is there is some development that's natural for children that sometimes we're not as aware of as I would, you know, so we wrote about that to give you that background information. So I noticed that, you know, when I looked through the book again, that, you know, there's two or three things that, that I noticed. Number one is um, about using models. Well, I don't know what that means. I, I guess I should know. I've been a teacher for a while, but I don't know what a model is. And I don't know what you mean by using a model in a number talk. The thing that we think of models as being a tool for students to think about the math, for them to notice mathematical ideas as we're posing particular questions. So for example, if we have in kindergarten, I have students who at the beginning of the year are mostly going to count. So then I want to think about what, what experiences do they need to, you know, move on from counting. So like, even if I had something like this thumbs up when you know how many, you might recognize the square and think, oh, that's four sides because I know a square. And then I might say something like, see if you can use what you know about the square to help you know how many now. And our, our goal is for them to notice that I don't have to recount what I already know, that I can just count on or even add on from there. But as the teacher, I also know that I'm going to have plenty of kids that are still going to just go one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's, it's okay for them to count when they need to count. But our, our goal is to help them notice when they don't need to count. And so models can help them start noticing the mathematics that, that we're hoping that they will start using as they and so, you know, and sometimes when we're working with place value and kids learn what numbers in the tens place and what numbers in the ones place, but with just using the model, which Sue's going to show you, then those abstract numbers are, it's possible for you to learn about these numbers once you make up a problem that you might do. So thinking about a, a two-digit problem or um, maybe I want them to add 19 more, where if it's just written on paper, they're going to start working a procedure, or even if it's written on the board as a number talk, if they don't have the math behind it, then they're trying to remember how to do it. But here, there's an opportunity for kids to think about how they could use the model to figure out what 28 plus 19 is. They, it's real. It's you, real. It's hands-on. Yeah. It's not hands-on per se, because I'm holding it, but it's real. But so, And then the other thing that's nice about it is, as one child explains how they see it, how they figured it out. I have the ability to move things around so that other kids might, if they're ready, see what that child did. So as an example, one child might say, you know, I moved one of these over here and I made 20 over here and now I know I have 40 and I have seven more because I took one off of the eight. Or a different child might think about, I moved two over here to make 30 and that's okay too. Or I might have another child who said, oh, I thought about that as 20, and then I took the extra one off at the end. Or I might have a child who says, I remember that's 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and count put all the rest on. The nice thing about the models is it gives everybody access. So even if I'm not understanding the place value part, I still can count if I need to yeah. to find out. So I'm not out of the number talk just because I don't know the answer to that problem or I can't remember the procedure I'm supposed to try to follow. Is there freedom in a number talk that kids can 
see a model that you present and use their own hands-on unifix cubes or something like that to try actually, and make sense of it. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because what we think of number talks as when it's really out of their hands, but they still have it available for them to look at. Before number talks comes the work that they're doing in their classroom. What we're doing in our number talk, they've already had their hands-on materials. They've already had those experiences, so it's not a new concept to them. Now, as we're moving on possibly with other things, I'm still giving them opportunity to become more and more proficient at working with two-digit numbers. What happens when, when they have the, like if they were going to add these and they had the models in their own hands and they wanted to move that to, or they wanted to just try out things, one of the things that happens in the beginning is they just got to see what's going to happen if I try that. They're not necessarily going to know what's going to work out. Or they might add on the 19 and then realize, well, that's, you know, whatever. Whatever they do, it's an exploration almost of, if I put these together, what's going to happen? So when we take that away to the next stage, now I have to imagine the movement. Even though I see both numbers, I still imagine that one being, being moved over. So it's just asking me to come with a little bit more background knowledge. Because I can move it in my mind, I'm on the path to being able to do it with symbols eventually. But having had the previous experiences mm -hmm. is what allows them to imagine moving it yes. here. Mm -hmm.